Yeah, what's up, Detroit? All right, so SummerSlam week is upon us. Later today, I'll be heading out, flying from New York to Detroit and linking up with Alex from the Talking Taker podcast, as well as Randy and Nick. Uh, some friends to the Talking Taker podcast, and so we're excited, man. This is going to be a lot of fun. I figured while I was packing up, may as well do a little hack with me as we get set to head out over to Detroit for a vacation here. All right, so I'm not exactly sure how the trip is going to go, so I figure you need one or two nice shirts. You got to throw that in there. Uh, I got some undershirts as well. Always got to have a little undershirt in there. I have a little pair of pajama pants, a little pair of jeans. These are actually new jeans that I had picked up for our uh, baby photo shoot. Baby, uh, you know, we had a little baby photo deal there. I, I guarantee you, you will not see me in my pink <laughs> polo um, that I have here. I do like this shirt a lot, but I, I don't know. Also not sure we'll need the button down uh, shirt here, uh, but go ahead and put that in there. You, ne you never know what the night calls. Right now, nothing on the itinerary calls for a nice shirt or a nice outfit. Um, but let's, uh, let's see. I think we have one nice dinner, so I guess we'll see. Maybe that'll be used for there. I just picked this up from WWE Shop, and I'm going to do an unboxing on it here on the channel soon enough, but, uh, LA Night shirt. Uh, I like to always start my vlogs and my weekend off with a wrestling shirt till I get less people know. Yeah, I'm in the airport for this particular event. I'm going to Detroit for SummerSlam so that like-minded folks could go and get a little excited. So I have a couple of wrestling shirts here. Also have this old school Triple H shirt, vintage from WWE Shop. I had the shirt, the original one, back in the day, but that's my favorite era of Triple H, kind of that post-return. And another brand new shirt I picked up, the Hustle, Loyalty, and Respect vintage John Cena shirt. Um, this right here is another piece. WWE had done a sale for the LA Knight shirt. You basically get 25% off and then free shipping on orders over 25. LA Knight shirt was actually uh, about 22, 23 with the 25% off. So I had no choice but to get another shirt. I'm not gonna pay for shipping if there's an option not to. So I picked up another shirt. So three wrestling shirts, not sure if it's gonna be a full weekend of wrestling shirts, but if so, I'll be prepared. And if we need something a little nicer uh, or a little uh, something else, we'll go ahead and do that. Also have my pair of shorts here. I always need a pair of shorts. You never know uh, how the weather in Detroit's going to be. I want to make sure I have one just in case. So there we go. Nice and packed, all set, compact for the trip. Uh, I am flying with American Airlines, and I'll be coming back with Delta. Both of them include not only a carry-on, but a personal item. So I'll also bring a book bag for any items that I may have to bring back with me. A couple of books as well. I got Daniel Bryan's book. I got Brian Gerwert's book. So... A couple of different pieces to read on the trip. Also got the brand new New York Knicks in the 90s book. So who knows? Lots of reading material for a two-hour flight. Uh, but we'll see from there. JetBlue, while I love their television, has become very sneaky when it comes to purchasing uh, cheap flights from them. They do not, they no longer include the carry-on bag. They used to, not anymore. Now I need to go and pay more for the carry-on bags. And so if you could avoid the carry-on bag fee, may as well do that. It makes all the difference pack a little more and uh, be good to go from there. So anyway, let's get on out of here. And with that, we are ready for the SummerSlam vlog and I'm joined by... Hello! <laughs> you just thought you thought it was going to be a guy's trip. You thought no wives on the trip, but Ari has joined us right here in beautiful Detroit. Ari, you excited to be here in Detroit? <laughs> He's not in Detroit. Gee. We're still here in New York. We're go I'm going to Detroit in a little bit, but thanks so much for giving your blessing <laughs> no for the problem. SummerSlam trip. What, what match are you looking most forward to at SummerSlam? Um, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Blazer. And who do you think wins? I want to say Ronda Rousey, but I feel like Shayna might win this one. I think so too. I think so too. Well, again, uh, thanks for lending me out for a couple of days, all in the name <laughs> of the content, all in the name of WWE. It won't be the same without you, but... I know, never. <laughs> but we hope you enjoyed the show. Will you get to watch the show a little bit? A little bit. I'll know, I, I have to study for finals, but I'll be watching. <laughs> well, you're the best, and uh, certainly hope you have a good time watching the show. Thank and you. And looking for me out in the crowd. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. LaGuardia Airport. Here we are. One of uh, the most frustrating times one can even uh, think about getting through security. Uh, I am a uh, TSA pre-check member, so I plan accordingly to leave 
Uh, about 90 minutes before time of the flight. And almost caught up with me this time. <laughs> this time was tough. Uh, but was able to, uh, this little New York show. If you want to hear me babble, you can listen to that for a hot second. But yeah, I, uh, it was one where uh, I'm literally about a half hour away from, uh, from takeoff. And who knows, maybe perhaps it's a learning experience. And maybe next time I'll at least leave two hours prior. Probably not. And I'll probably still walk on this uh, rather fun little uh, walkway just because it reminds me of uh, the intro to catfish and uh, is a tradition nonetheless. Probably at least walk this time though because we gotta huff it. What's up Detroit? I finally landed here, heading down to now go meet up with uh, Alex, who just landed. I thought I was going to have about an hour, hour and a half. Actually sat down to uh, potentially get some grub. And then Alex messaged me just 20 minutes later, told me he'd already landed. So we're about to go meet up. I've got the coffee. I've got the LA night shirt. Let me talk to you, because we're all going to be chatting. And I will talk to you guys here in a bit when we meet up with Alex. Ah, I should have came down here. This looks really good. Atwater Brewery. If ever there's a place uh, in an airport, like, uh, the, actually worth your time, this looks like it'd be that place. But eh, I'll stick with the Starbucks for now and uh, hopefully get grub real soon. So I'm waiting here for Alex. I think he's walking over from the other side of the airport, uh, the Delta side, if you will. And uh, who should I bump into but one Sergeant Slaughter. And I had completely forgotten about the entire, I'll let him be, don't be such a mark, whatever it is. Uh, instead, I just, I walked right over to him and he, said uh you know sorry but uh not signed any auto autographs today and i said well it's actually great i don't have anything for you to sign uh but i'm wondering if we could possibly get a picture he was thrilled about it he said that's the spirit told me to come on in here and uh took a little selfie he was really nice about it and uh what a cool moment to start the little weekend here i'll throw a little photo up right at this moment here it is <laughs> and so very very cool and uh great way to start the weekend and uh, alex should be here any minute little update for you guys and I am baking in the Detroit sun and maybe perhaps teetering on the edge of too many of these types of updates but it turns out Alex and I were at completely opposite ends of the airport he took a Delta flight I took American Airlines I do have Delta on the way back and thank goodness because American Airlines ah eh. but in any event uh, I have now need to wait here for a shuttle in order to get to where he's at we were just both circling around the baggage claims trying to find one another so uh, a little delayed but we are getting over there and uh, should see each other over here real soon. So we're at the official, so this is Ford's, Ford's Garage, Ford's Garage. USA. Yeah. Met up with Alex. What's Alex, up? how are you doing? doing we awesome. finally found each other. Yes, we did. And it took us a little while to find each other. We, we were on different sides of the airport. Detroit airport was home. But, but uh, we, we made it we and made we're it. finally about to grub down. Absolutely. We're three hours away from the, the other guys joining us. I know. We'll have to do a house tour at some point too when we yeah, get back we'll to the that. place. We'll but that'll sure. be, uh, It'll be good, and uh, yeah, this place is uh, awesome. Looking, looking really good. Absolutely. So I've got a tradition here. Where whenever there's a uh, whenever there's a flight option at a new place, I always try it. Got started with the Bell's Two Hearted, not or my Bell's Palsy, Bell, Bell's Palsy. I've been <laughs> dealing with all year. Um, and then it looks like that's a short, short shandy, odd side. Let's see what that is. Odd side bean f. Which they only gave me half of. I guess that's probably because it's not a good one. Uh oh. And then a, <laughs> then a grapefruit IPA that I think is great. And uh, I'll give a shout out to Steve who always told me the way to do this. I used to just mix and match them yeah. and do a little of each one. Yeah. And he told me it's actually set up the way you're supposed to drink them. Right. Yeah, which I didn't exactly. realize till recently. So like, I used to be like bang a little of this, bang a little like a, <laughs> like a medley of yeah. drinks, but not anymore. So now I'm now drinking it the right way. Yes, yeah, so right. I, did, I did not cheat there. I just got half of them. So. Uh, but they, it, good time. And, and, you know, and you don't know which one you got. I already, no, I don't remember. Yeah. It's an IPA. Is it good though? Yes. It's good? It's awesome. Pretty good. Gotta go local. I, I appreciate that. So. Very Here's cool. Awesome. First part of my meal here. I started with some pretzels. I am also getting fireside shrimp, which is my jam. That's your jam? But Alex has a, what is it, a burger? Yeah, high octane burger. <laughs> oh right my there. gosh. And it's got a Ford's Garage logo on the bun. That's how you know. It's that legit. is pretty cool. That is awesome. Keeping. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, it's made oh. It. It's, 
it's still uh, it's still Thursday. It's still Thursday. Exactly. He's real. He exists. The mysterious day. Try not. There you go. What's going on, guys? I felt like uh, right. Fresh Prince out there. See you. How was your travel? House. Uh, first plane ride. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah.